I always thought speakers tend to look something like this. Hmm. Is this the next big thing? Let's find out right now. So let's talk about the RS300 right now with spatial audio. So for movies, there's been a lot of buzz around Dolby Atmos, but right now for music, we have ERA 300 with spatial audio. Spatial, spatial, spatial audio. Yep, so we're gonna run through a few things in this video. We're gonna talk about the looks of it, and of course, we're gonna talk about spatial audio. And of course, we're gonna talk about connectivity and fun facts. Yeah, so if you're ready, let's dive into this video. So we'll talk a bit about the looks of ERA 300. So, the team at Sonos really put a lot of effort into the design of this ERA 300. Every single curve was really placed such that you get the most immersive experience for your spatial audio listening. This hourglass design really helps immersify your whole music experience with spatial audio. So this speaker has front firing speakers, side firing speakers, as well as upward firing speakers for you to get the best spatial audio experience. Before we jump into what spatial audio is, let's talk about a single unit and what it does. So a single unit will be a mono channel having one direction of sound. But if you do happen to get a second speaker, you will get uh, two channels, a stereo channel, a left and a right channel. So the sound engineer is able to produce sound exactly where he wants it to be. Maybe the drums will be on the left and the keyboard will be on the right. But right now, with the addition of ERA 300, you will be able to not only get sound from the left and right channels, but imagine with me, you are in a dome, a sphere, and the sound engineer has the capability to pinpoint exactly where he wants the hi-hat and drum to be. So imagine like 30 degrees to the left, and also like maybe 1.5 meters in height, that's exactly where I want the hi-hat to be. And for the keyboard, same thing, maybe 50 degrees up and two meters above the ground for the keyboard. So this is exactly what Dolby Atmos Spatial Audio can do for you with pinpoint accuracy of sound so that you know exactly where all your instruments are placed. Spatial Audio is now supported on Apple Music and Amazon Music. Go to your app and if you see Dolby Atmos on that track, Spatial Audio is now supported. From new artists like Billie Eilish and Ed Sheeran to even the classics like The Beatles and Pink Floyd, they are all adapting to the new norm of spatial audio. So a question you might have is, what if I don't have Apple Music or Amazon Music? Do I still need the ERA 300? Well, the ERA 300 really is an all-in-one speaker with its multi-directional firing speakers, front, left, right, and even upward firing speakers. No longer do you have to be in the center of it, but even if you are walking around your home to the left or to the right, you'll be able to still feel immersive spatial audio music. So for example, if you're doing your household chores, uh, vacuuming, maybe you might be uh, in the left side of the, the kitchen, you don't need to shift the speaker to the left anymore. Or if you're at, at the right side of, of your balcony, you don't even need to shift your, your speaker anymore. With ERA 300 and spatial audio, you'll be able to get immersive sound wherever you may be. Sonos is all about the customers and they've heard feedback about wanting more options, more connection options on your speakers. So with the new era speakers, we've got things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as well as a line-in option with the Sonos line-in adapter. So with so many connections right now, which one should you use for what? We'll start with Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth. So if you want the highest sound quality for music, go ahead and use Wi-Fi because it has a higher bandwidth compared to Bluetooth. But if you do have some friends over and they want to connect to your speaker, go ahead and press the Bluetooth button at the back of your speaker. So if your friends are over at your place and really appreciate high quality music, go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. Last but not least, you have the line-in option with the Sonos line-in adapter. With this, you're able to connect to a turntable as well. So more than all the connections on your ERA 300, for all Sonos speakers, you also get TruePlay tuning no longer do you have to go and engage a sound engineer to come to your listening area. Right now, you can do TruePlay yourself and you are your own sound engineer. So, what TruePlay actually does is, it acoustically tunes the music to your space and your room. 
in three easy steps. Open up your Sonos app, tap your speaker, and get True Play done. So many of you guys may ask, and I hear you, one ERA 300 is great, but should I get a second one? Getting a second ERA 300 definitely will bring your whole spatial audio experience to a whole new level. The immersiveness will be even greater than one. So, like I said, one is great, but having two is even better and even more immersive. It is simple to pair. It's through your Sonos app, select your ERA 300, and set up stereo pair and you're good to go. Is the ERA 300 the best spatial audio speaker? Well, I'll leave that to you to decide. But what I do know is that the ERA 300 is the reference speaker for Abbey Road Studios. So for all sound engineers at Abbey Road Studios, if they are ever mixing a spatial audio track, they will have to go through the ERA 300 first. Another fun fact is that these ERA 300s can be used as your surround speakers together with your Sonos Arc and Sub making it a 7.1.4 home theatre system. Making it the most immersive home theatre system to date. So that's all we have today. And if you want to experience the ERA 300 with spatial audio, please feel free to make your way down to our flagship store at the Adelphi. And yeah, we'll see you guys around.